we are back to show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. So we know that most Americans are just one step away from disaster. A staggering 61% of U.S. adults say they're living paycheck to paycheck in the future. Honestly, it barely looks brighter. According to Goldman Sachs, exponential advances in AI now easily threaten 300 million full-time decent paying jobs. And no one knows this precarious reality better than Grant Muller, our next guest, who lost his livelihood and literally landed on the streets, only to learn lessons that turned his life and business around. And he's written about it in his new book, Top of Heart, How a New Approach to Business Saved My Life and Could Save Yours Too. Grant Muller, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, great to be here. Absolutely. Um, I know you're a speaker and author, certified high performance coach, and a seven figure real estate agent ranked in the top 1.5% of realtors nationwide. So that's a pretty wild transformation that you've had. You've had a pretty remarkable life story. Tell us briefly a little bit more. We moved here to the US when I was seven, and I never quite fit in. So I learned very quickly to do. Uh, whatever I could to fit in and be like the other kids to survive. And as I got older, that included alcohol uh, and later fell into heavy drug use. Um, it was after a period of uh, really great success at an internet startup, actually. I had stopped drinking for a little bit, traded uh, alcoholism for workaholism. I liked those side effects a little bit better. But as I achieved millionaire status, and found myself um, with a lack of purpose and with um, an unfulfilled life, um, living a great life, but just miserable. Uh, I started drinking again and then later started using drugs and ended up, frankly, on the streets, homeless, selling drugs to support my habit. Wow. Um, what, a, uh, what a journey. What a transformation, as we said a moment ago. So let's dive into top of heart. So people in sales work really, really hard to stay at the top of the buyer's mind. There's so many steps involved that we talk about. And that's a in quotation marks over there because we're going to talk about that term quite a bit. How is being top of heart different? Well, most of us follow the rules. We do what's expected of us. And especially in business, we keep relationships safe and secure, really, uh, frankly, superficial. And that's certainly the case with our sales relationships. Those top of mind tactics, they keep us in front of and as you mentioned about AI, we're in this age where automation is replacing so many parts of the sales transactions. And I think once that whole transformation is complete, all that's really going to be left is our ability to forge real, true, heart-centered human connections. Um, that's something that you know AI cannot replace, at least, at least not yet. Absolutely. So, you know, let's let's stick on that theme for a moment. We talk about those real authentic connections all the time. As my dad would say, you know, being a business, it's really all about widgets. Um, it really doesn't matter because ultimately it really is about the people that you interact with. So what can listeners start doing today to create those real authentic connections that you're referring to? Well, I think the first piece is really to show up as we are. Um, to allow ourselves to be human in the moment. The big A word, authenticity, is used over and over again, and I certainly recognize that it's an overused term. But how can we show up as we really are and then also show up with some form of intention? Uh, you know, the average person checks their cell phone 144 times a day. I would say the average salesperson probably checks their cell phone 144,000 times a day. So how can we show up in the moment and focus on how we want the person we're about to interact with to feel at the end of our interaction? I know that sounds a little woo-woo, but I believe our job is not just the relationship job, but it's the feelings job. We're in the business as salespeople of helping people feel better when they're finished interacting with us. And if we can do that, whether through a sale or not, um, our referrals, our repeat business will grow like crazy. And that's that's at the center of what the Top of the Part movement's all about. Absolutely. I'm chatting with Grant Muller, who chronicles his 15-year journey from homelessness to a thriving real estate career, all from prioritizing real human relationships. The book is called Top of Heart, How a New Approach to Business Saved My Life and Could Save Yours Too. So, Grant, we're going to cut to a break in about a minute. Um, but uh, I am uh, curious, what's that one piece of advice that you hope that readers take from your book? I think the first piece is just to bring the humanity into every business process. 
whether it's sales, service, leadership, um, just taking the time to understand that our clients are experiencing a human moment. Business relationships are not separate from personal relationships. Not all of our clients have to be friends, but all relationships, even business relationships, start with the heart, not the head. Wow, oh, that's great advice. So, um, you know, given your success, what inspired you to uh, to coach others and, uh, and dedicate so much to uh, to writing this book? I know what's involved, and it's it's not easy. I have uh, requests all the time to go to lunch to share um, what's worked so well for me. And frankly, there are only so many so many, so much of me. I can only go to so many lunches. So I thought, what can I do to codify and share with people uh, what's really changed my life, frankly, and really built a business that I. I love so much. That's incredible. Again, the book is called Top of Heart, How a New Approach to Business Saved My Life and Could Save Yours Too, written by Grant Muller, who will be back with us in just a moment. Uh, you can find out more on his website, grantmuller.com. And while you're online, be sure to check out my website, sycline.com. I love to hear from our listeners and certainly would love to see your subscription to our podcast and it's super easy. It's free. And you don't want to miss a single episode all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Just go to your favorite podcast app, subscribe, rate, review, and share. We'll be right back and Get Down to Business. Welcome back to Get Down to Business, continuing my conversation with speaker, author, certified high-performance coach, and a seven-figure real estate agent. That's Grant Muller. And uh, Grant is on a mission right now. Uh, ensuring that uh, that folks move from being top of mind with clients to being top of heart. Grant, really enjoying our conversation over here. You use that term, uh, top of heart, quite a bit. What does that actually mean? So top of heart is built upon top of mind. So top of mind is creating a no like and trust relationship with our clients and with the public. I, I believe the top of mind is great. It just doesn't go top far enough. So the top of heart mindset is around building the mindset of getting real, building the skill set of creating some excellence and building the heart set, as I call it, of going from me to we. So creating an intentional aligned relationship with our clients and frankly, with anyone that we might spend some time with. Interesting. So going from me to we. So I, I always love to leave our listeners with a very practical sort of homework assignment uh, to sure. make their week and month even better, especially as we approach the end of this calendar year. So I know you talk in the book, again, it's called Top of Heart, How a New Approach to Business Saved My Life and Could Save Yours Too, about some ways that you can actually turn emails, calls, and lunches into mutually beneficial, long-lasting relationships. What are some of those things that you would recommend for our listeners? Absolutely. I, I actually say I lunch for a living. And me to we is a term that I learned actually in addiction recovery. Um, so I learned that in the 12-step community that I'm a part of. And I've applied it simply to business. And one very simple example uh, would be as, as I go to lunch with a client, I take what I call a snapshot. Uh, I put my car in park before in the parking lot before I walk into lunch and I just picture them in my mind and I think about how I want them to feel at the end of our engagement and I imagine what might be going on in their life. So as an example, um, let's say I'm about to meet a first time home buyer and they've never bought a house before. They've been referred to me and they're very nervous about the process. I might think about how I can bring some enthusiasm about the end result for them. I might think about how I can bring some certainty to their time together. And I might think about creating some space for them to be a little nervous and, and feel secure by the end of our time together. So it's just about creating some intention. If I'm about to go to lunch with someone and I know that, for instance, someone in their family has died, I might create some curiosity and I might think about creating some space for them to feel that grief and know that they're in a place that's supported and that they're with somebody that cares about them. So it's just about bringing that intention into our moments together. And we can apply this in our business life, but also in our personal life. And we can apply this as leaders, uh, bringing some top of heart thinking or mindset to our time with our employees um, also has a lot of benefit, right? So before we sit down to give some feedback, we might think about how we want them to feel at the end of that time together, creating some intention around building a stronger relationship. And of course, 
a stronger relationship with our employees and clients is a great thing for business. Absolutely. Grant, uh, again, uh, you have had a dramatic transformation in your life, and I know you're on a mission to help others um, through your new book, which, of course, we want to send our listeners to. But also, you're out and about speaking on uh, shows like this, podcasts, and and uh, on a speaking tour uh, for our listeners that want to get in touch with you, want to schedule a time to talk about all those things, but also want to find your book. How can they do that? Uh, at grantmuller.com, M-U-L-L-E-R.com. Um, I've got a speaker page there as well as information about the book and coaching. Fantastic. Grant Muller. Uh, it's a great read. Encourage all of our listeners to pick up a copy of Top of Heart, How New Approach Business Saved My Life and Could Save Yours Too. Grant, thanks so much for being so open um, and, uh, and, and transparent um, in, in your journey. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to uh, following your journey as well. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And that's a wrap for us here on the show, all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. We'll be back, of course, next Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on AM560 The Answer or on your favorite podcast app. So just tell your smartphone, tell your smart speaker to uh, make sure you play Get Down to Business, subscribe, rate, review, and share. Uh, but again, can't wait to uh, have this conversation with you next week. Get on my website, sykline.com. I love to hear from our listeners. To success, let's get down to business.